You can say it's a disease. Um, it's almost like cancer. Um, something so small, but has a strong, you know, um, background to it. Um, and it can kill you just like that, and there's no cure for it. Um, and the only thing with the cure for that is just getting around loved ones. Uh, but uh, it's hard for us Pacific Islanders. Um, you're having parents um, just saying, you know, you know, just toughen up, you'll be all right. Um, not knowing what, like island parents, you don't know what's actual mental illness and just being weak. Uh, mental health saying is very closely linked to my family um, and something that I've always felt very strongly about. No one, no one is immune from mental illness. Nobody, not the toughest guy you've ever met. Not anybody. No one can really see it. It's easy to just put on a poker face um, and a face and a mask just to come into training and just smile all about it. But no one really knows what's going behind closed doors. Everyone met me before. How are you? How are you going, sweetie? Good to see you. Been so long. Yeah. Let's go. I'm really proud to say now that I'm associated with Petir, they're a very uh, exciting young um, company in the or organisation in the mental health field. We're all around the power of a conversation, so getting people to, to open up, whether it's if they notice something in their mate and asking them if they're okay, or whether it's feeling like they're, they're suffering and not going too well, opening up and, and being empowered and feeling able to, to ask for help and ask for support. You only get one life. Um, yeah, it's hard to say, but some people uh, take it for granted, and that's where I want to help out as well. Here I, Simone, he's had battles off the field, but what an achievement, now running out in sky blue. Pretty similar to the natural progression of the relationship between the Tars and Batir. I think the, the game out in Mudgee was one of those things that just spurred out of an individual conversation. The boys went out there, they heard from a couple of the players, a few of our teams spoke about the importance of mental health and, and having conversations and looking after themselves both on and off the field. And then that spurred into a, a, a game where they, they wore the, the, the tier logo on their jersey, they wore the socks uh, in the lead up to the Waratahs game as well. So it was a really powerful message to the community there. Certainly by getting teams involved and by having such a great organisation as the Waratahs involved combined with such an energetic upcoming charity, it's just really exciting. And, um, uh, I'm proud to be a Waratah and I'm certainly proud to be an ambassador of Batir and I'm um, even more proud of how, um, of how the Waratahs have embraced uh, such a great organisation and embraced such a 